Sub-Saharan Africa is more heavily affected by HIV and AIDS than any other region in the world. An estimated 22 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2007 and approximately 1.9 additional people were infected with HIV during that year. <laughs> Serves them right. Mom? What the? Where's my ball? Hey, stop! Hey, that's my ball! Wait! It's my stuff! Hey, Holmes, what's your problem? I don't have your stuff. What are you talking about? You're the only one here that has to be my stuff. Those me are going to stop the policy. Oh. What happened, Cindy? He won't let me play basketball. Who's he? Some dumb black kid. What do you look like? He looked he look like a gambinger. He hung near the cafeteria under a tree. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up, man? Where you at? Where you at? Yeah. Hey, Negro, why are you messing with my little sister? I don't know your sister. What you talking about? Don't ask do it. I know you know what I'm talking about. Now you're going to pay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, hey, I'm not going to. Jake, Jake. Jake, man, what are you doing? With this? What are you doing with the knife, Jake? Man, I'm so disappointed in you right now. You know what? Dude, what's that? I want my money tomorrow. Hey guys, can you settle down a little bit? We're ready to start class. Thank you. Wow, that, that's great. You guys are great. Um, today, today's lesson. Let's start off by asking the question of who is the 44th president of the United States? Go for it. Obama? Yeah, that's correct. We don't uh, need no bootleg Coco Puff for president. We don't need to be disrespectful like that in this class. He hasn't done anything for me. Hello, and you are? Emma. Emma's class, say hello to Emma. Hi, Hi Emma. Emma. Emma, what's your last name? Um, Stars. Okay, can you, you can sit right there in the front next to Robert there. You look like a lion. Hey, okay, don't come at me like that. You don't know me. Shut up. I'm, oh, no, I'm going to... Hey, hey, guys, okay, settle down. Emma, Emma. Why don't you sit down? Guys, settle down. Do you guys know the consequences of your words? I mean, the kind of racial intolerance that this can create. Back in 1941, okay, Pearl Harbor was bombed. And at that point, there was so much fear that Japanese Americans were going to completely turn on the United States. President Roosevelt did some kind of a signing of an executive order. Can anyone name that executive order? 9066. That's correct. And that executive order made all Japanese Americans move into an internment camp. One that was very famous in the state of California called Manzanar. My grandfather was at that internment camp. 
They lived in the poorest conditions. They lived in the deserts. And it was just total racism out of what? Fear that Japanese Americans may turn on the Americans simply because of racism. So guys, next time you act on your words, next time the things that you say, think before you do it. So how long have you been coming here? Oh, I've just started. Really? Yeah. Well, you have a lot of fun. 